Well, okay, so my name is Martin Kaltenbrunner. I'm actually, well, I'm Austrian, but I have been living now for quite a while in Spain, in Barcelona. I'm working there at the Music Technology Group. And I'm going to present a bit, well, quickly, briefly, the, our project, the React Table. Um, and, and, well, so it's not only me working on this project, actually, we have a team of four people, uh, Sergi, Günther, and Marcos, and I. So we have been working on that for the last, uh, four or five years already. We presented it two years ago, first time in a concert at the Ars Electronica Festival. And since then, well, since then we are playing the instrument ourselves and, and well, you might know the other stuff, like recently it has been acquired by Bureau Street is using it as well. In the beginning I was not really interested at all in this kind of technology, like multi-touch or tangible interaction, because what we wanted to do in the beginning was creating a new musical, musical instrument and we didn't have any technology at all for building it. Yeah? So in the course of, of the project, we actually were developing the idea first, like what kind of instrument we want to build, and we didn't have any sensor for doing that, and nor table. So assuming that uh, we didn't have any technology, we just assumed uh, that we have everything. So we have this universal sensor, which gives us the complete view of the table, the person, the environment, the objects, or the state which is there. Uh, so we didn't try to have these technology constraints which are around as, as, as well. So if you happen to work with this kind of technology, even with this kind of new stuff which is coming up, you actually know that it's failing. So uh, actually I'm driven quite a lot by failure of technology. So I don't like, I don't like it at all in the end. So I just want to make it better. So. so anyway, so in the end, so we made this software prototype simulation first. So we did this uh, software on the uh, rec table. And after that, we actually experimented a bit with uh, computer vision, which gave some good results. Uh, and we chose computer vision as the sensor input for the rec table. And well, after having this early prototype, then we actually had a big problem because we needed to build the technology for building the real table. So it took us another year or even longer then to really sit down and program a decent and robust computer vision uh, system. Um, so let me jump around here in these slides here. So, oops. So I don't, so basically what we did is we created uh, this computer vision system, which we, in the end, also published as open source software. So many people are already using uh, this system as well. It's called Rectivision, and it allows you just to build you something uh, we have seen right now, which is creating a table, interactive table system where you uh, can track uh, objects on this table surface and you also can track uh, fingertips on this table surface. So you can track tagged object, objects with the help of little stickers you put on the objects, and then you also can track the fingertips. Well, and this software is actually driving then the rec table synthesizer, which is composed out of the other, other uh, components. Um, well, actually I wanted to maybe just, if for the people who don't know the instrument, uh, I think I will just briefly show a quick video Scared Thomas concert. Günther and I were playing earlier this year in Terni in Italy. It's not very good music. I'm not a musician at all, so, but <laughs> I'm trying the best I can. So. Oops. so basically, you can see here the, the features the instrument has. So it's basically a modular synthesizer where you have blocks, plastic blocks that represent sound generators, filters, sound effects, controllers. And you're ba basically playing a kind of Lego with sound by combining these objects and creating more complex structures. And technically speaking, it's this, well, it's this interactive surface where you have a projection, as I said. You have these objects, you can track them, you know what it is, where it is, and rota rotation angle it has. And at the same time, you have this multi-touch surface with the finger control here. So actually, we don't use the multi-touch surface in a, in a way that we use multi-touch gestures as well. We don't use two-handed gestures. Uh, we just use it as a collaborative feature. So more than one person can do the same thing at the same time. So that's the most important aspect for us. I wanted to also quickly show um, Rectivision itself. Oops. So it's not very exciting to show something like this uh, on the computer, but what it does basically is also, well, nothing special, getting uh, these symbols here, you attach them to objects and then it tells you what it is, in, in this little number you see here, and uh, it tells you the rotation angle, and then actually it also does the fingertips, which you cannot see right now, where well, sometimes an F is 
helping up because it's this kind of white spot. But maybe I show you the other the other image here. So that's uh, just it's just a screenshot shot I made uh, from a table actual table situation, and that's actually actual application uh, analyzing this image. So what we're doing right now is this: we're tracking the objects with the attached symbols. We're tracking the fingertips just the way in the multi-touch surface it's done, like basically finding white dots, which is the size and the round shape. And then what they're doing right now, the next step is uh, shape detection, like uh, let's say, what we want to do with the rec table is, is adding more than this object and touch stuff. We want to have, for example, using a bit of piece of clay or a, a rubber hose and use these flexible things as a controller, for example. No? And that's what, why we want to, this is for example, a lizard, so you squeeze this lizard and then you get some sound out of it, so that's terrible. <laughs> Well, hopefully it will be a lot of fun. No, no, no. Well, it looks, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a close lizard. <laughs> okay.